Have you ever wondered just how fast the top enduro riders are? Well, whilst Blake was attending the Andes Pacifico, we got the chance to find out. Day two, stage two, this is the motor section. This is where the riders are gonna be going the fastest of all of the stages so far. And it's a straight down line, down this mountain pass, all the way into some nice single track. So I got my uh, trusty speed gun. I wanna see how fast those riders come bombing down this because this bit of terrain is so deep, so slippery, they call this the anti-grip. There's no grip. Does look like you're gonna dig in, but underneath is rock solid. And when, as soon as you hit that, it's just like riding on marbles. It's crazy with some of these riders that are racing this event that they're racing blind. So they don't even know this is here. They don't even know that's there. They don't even know what's around the next corner. And you have to put down a race run if you wanna be in the top spot. It's ridiculous. Media, media coming down. How fast is he going? He's foot out, anti-grip, he's doing, He's not going very fast. 24 kilometers an hour. 18. I think the big guns are gonna be going twice the speed. Maybe triple the speed. But with both feet on. Whoa. 37, 30, 40. 43 kilometers an hour. Quite fast. But the thing is with this ground, it's so unpredictable. It's crazy. Let's see if anyone beats that. I think we can get to like 60 kilometers, maybe 50. Oh, he's bombing. Holy Moses. Oh, he's going so fast, 67 kilometers an hour. Wow. Next rider. Let's see if we can beat 67. Doubt it, he was bombing. That was um, 61. That guy was absolutely pinned. <laughs> that Chilean rider at 67 kilometers an hour. If you crashed, man, you're gonna hurt yourself. Sixty-three. Right, this is Yago. <laughs> Fifty-eight. Ah, the guy, man. It sounded insane going past me. If you were here on the course listening to that, here comes another rider. Pedro Burns. Whoa! We have a new record. Sixty-eight kilometers an hour. Red Bull Rider, Mr. Burns, bombing. Oh, he's bombing. Oh my God, how's he holding on? We have a new record, 69 kilometers an hour. Here comes Loose Dog. Get on, guys, get on. Wow, 58, not as fast as freaking Mr. Burns. For that, ah, oh, this is Lee Johnson. Go, on, Lee! Yeah. Seventy-three. Welsh boy holding the record. Here comes another one. This is Sam Dale. Go, Sam! Oh my! F I'm scared for my life. That was only sixty-nine. Here comes. That's a good number. Here comes another one. Win, Win Master. Go, boy! Welsh boy holds the record. That was 65 Windmasters. Surprised he didn't go on a wheelie down there. New record, 75. So there are the big guns coming. Who's this? Ah, oh. I was on the uplift with that guy. <gasps> He has no brakes. This sounds like metal on metal. 53, 54. 
Another low rider. I think the lower I get, the faster they go. He looks fast. He's 60. He is oh, oh, 13, oh, 13 off the highest. Here comes off mate, Neil Donahue. Oh my goodness me. That's my teammate, Neil Donahue, GMBN. He's third fastest at 71. Got it! Right, let's do a quick roundup. First place, I have no idea who it was, but he was breaking the speed barrier. It was insane. I didn't even know he was coming. Second place, Welsh boy, Lee Johnson. And then third is Neil. What the hell? There goes another one. 58! I have to come down here now. A bit scared. Here comes another one. Everything's so loose, mate. It's all one big loose thing. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I seen you lot at the bottom and I was like, well, there, there. There's nothing in between us. It must be a good bit. So I just went a bit quick and. Oh my f Yeah got loose. <laughs> right Jerome, the question I'm going to ask you is how do you go fast in a race racing blind? I try to go fast to look at the tape and like first understand all the tape and then look at the tape and try to think in advance the line. So it's not always easy but here with the yellow tape and red tape it helps a lot so when it's yellow don't touch the brake and when it's red be careful a little yeah, bit. Breaks. Now, are you always telling yourself subconsciously to keep looking ahead? Do you find yourself looking quite close in certain places? No, I try to keep looking ahead, especially when it's fast. You look so you can maintain speed and not break for nothing. So that's a thing key uh, in this kind of race. Okay, so you were the f second fastest down that speed trap, down that super fast section. So yeah. now, how, what's it like to go super fast racing blind? And how do you do it? Well, that's what I was kind of wondering myself yeah. <laughs> before coming to this race. Um, yeah, I've just kind of been learning along the way and like you learn to look really far ahead. Um, so you know what's coming to a certain extent. Yep. Um, but yeah, and it is scary because you don't know what's around the next corner and stuff. But it's been all right so far. Uh, <laughs> so you judge your, so your vision, you're looking super far ahead. Yeah. So you are judging to what's coming up next. But like when it comes to a track where it's blind, all these switchbacks. Now, how do you do that? Do you take turn by turn? Yeah, basically. If you, obviously, like if you can't see what's coming ahead, you just got to deal with it. Um, but some of these trails are pretty fast, and there's not many like trees or anything around, so you can see quite far ahead. I suppose, like in the UK, it would be a lot harder for the tight wiggly tracks. But nice. then I suppose you're going a lot faster. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like I've never done a blind race before, so. I'm learning quite a lot, like every stage really. Um, and yeah, like you do realize that you, you're looking in front of you again and you hit something, you're like, whoa, so you start looking ahead again. And yeah, I suppose hopefully you get in the habit of it. So I think it'll help with EWS racing and stuff as well. Right, we've got the fastest man at stage two on day two. This man set down the, the record of the whole stage of speed. His name is Rogelme. Now, Mate, how do you go so fast down a section of trail like that? Eh, bueno, solo en verdad pienso en ir rápido, en ir muy rápido y lo que siempre hacíamos con mi hijo eran tomarnos de los puños y no tocar los frenos. Esa era como la clave de agarrar mucha velocidad. Wow. So he played a game with his dad to not touch the brakes down a piece of straight, down a piece of mountain. <laughs> Oh, that's crazy. That's like sending your son. I'm going to do that with my son. That is really good. Now, when you're doing that, what's going through your head? Are you like, touch the brakes, touch the brakes, or not touch the brakes? Like, what's it like to go that fast? Bueno, como que hay yo por etapa. Al principio yo quería ir rápido, pero me da susto. Pero con el tiempo cada vez yo puedo desbloquear eso. Y ahora ya me encanta empuñarme. O sea, cuando puedo ver muy lejos y veo que no hay nada, empuñarme y derecho nomás. Well, I'm going to take a leaf out of this man's book, man. Because I do think like that. I like, I want to touch the brakes and then I touch the brakes. But now I got, yeah, like you said, unleash that feature in your uh, riding and just 
lay off the brakes. That's crazy, man. <laughs> 75 kilometers an hour out of the whole pack. He's the fastest. Whoa. <laughs> Mucho gracias, señor. Gracias. 75 kilometers an hour on that dust they call anti-grip. That is incredible. Now, why don't you stay with us here on GMVM by clicking on this video where you can see Blake racing the Valparaiso Urban Downhill or click over there to see the enduro races to look out for in 2019. Click on the globe to subscribe and good luck getting out racing yourself and seeing how fast you can go.